welcome to Everything Car Fishing. I'm finally back down my syndicate. I've been waiting ages for this. I've got three nights to hopefully try and catch a carp. So let's go. Well, I'm back down to my syndicate lakes. Uh, I've been looking around to try and figure out where I was going to go. Uh, it's pretty busy at the moment. A lot of people want to get on these lakes. I'd look around, couldn't figure out where I was going to go. I've decided to come on the whole of the lake. Um, there is bigger carp in here. If I do get one, it could be a decent fish. For the first night, I'm just going to try here, and then I might move to an easier lake on here, and hopefully I'll catch it then. If, if not, if I catch on here, that'd be brilliant. I've decided to come in this way. I've never fished before. Um, it's called Snags and it's called Snags because it's got snag in it. There's quite a lot of trees on the island and uh, it, it's pretty snaggy. They've cut it quite back now, but it is still pretty snaggy out there. Um, I've decided to put one obviously near the snags, near the tree, near the island, and the other rod I've actually decided to pull it down a channel. There's like a little channel between the island and the bank and I've just slapped it right in the middle. That's what I normally do. I normally just put them right in the middle. There's no point in it putting it in the margins, there's no point in it putting it on the island. I might as well put it in, in between and a fish coming in, in between that little channel, hopefully they'll see the bait and take it. So that's my swim. That's what I'm going to do for the first night, so um, hopefully I'll catch something. The rigs I'm using are Ronnie rigs on helicopter setup. I've got one rod on a trimmed down yellow pop up that I've sort of trimmed around the sides to make it into a sort of wafter, to, really to represent sweet corn. That's what I'm planning on doing with that. On the other rod, I'm actually using a tiger nut wafter, which is basically a tiger nut with a bit of cork in, tipped off with a bit of plastic corn. If you want to know how to make it, the link will be in the description below where I make a how to video on how to assemble that and some other little ideas of tiger nut hook baits. The tiger nut bait I'm putting near the island, near the snags, and the other one, which is the trimmed down pop up, I'm actually putting in the channel. That's what I've planned, so that's what I'm going to try for the first night on here. I may move, I may go somewhere else, so we'll see what happens. I've also put in about four spoms on each one. I haven't gone crazy with the bait. I did have a little issue on the island, I accidentally got it, the uh, spom right into the snags. <laughs> I managed to get it out, but uh, yeah, so I've had a bit of an issue trying to put some bait in on that spot and the, and the other spot as well. I did get it hooked around one of the branches. Uh, it's quite snaggy in these areas, quite a lot of trees, so I'm going to be, eventually I'm going to hook around something. The spawn mix I've got is hemp, sweet corn, whole boilies, chopped boilies and tiger nuts. Pretty simple mix. It's just a few items together. The sweet corn's really good in here. They love sweet corn in here. I put hemp in just to something else to be put in that mix. Uh, the boilies because carp love boilies. And obviously tiger nuts because I'm planning on putting one on tiger nut. That's pretty much why I've put that in there and that's why I'm fishing that. So hopefully the uh, tactics, hopefully the bait gets me a bite. Let's see. about an hour 
and two in the two against Dark. Nothing's really happened at the moment. I haven't really seen anything show or jump. Nothing. Not even a couple of bubbles. I've not even seen a brooch. That's how little I've seen. Uh, when I arrived, I had a look at the other lakes around here and nothing. Saw nothing. Didn't even see a single little roach or anything jump. Uh, yeah, so I, that's the reason I came onto this swim. I just picked a random swim on this lake. It, you know, it's got bigger carping and it's got more of a chance of getting something decent as well. So that's the reason I came on here. Uh, I just picked a random swim. To be honest, I've picked a swim I've never fished before, but you know, it's worth having a go. It could suddenly work and uh, I could suddenly get a bite out of here. When, it, when I came in here I actually just started to lead around to try and find out what was out in front of me and uh, it's pretty firm really, there wasn't no gravel or anything so I've not really found any really decent areas to put rigs on either. Um, it's reasonably firm and there's no weed around and there's no real thick silt so that's the reason I, I've just put them in there really. Just put them where I can feel it firmer and that's pretty much it. Yeah apart from the snags on the island uh, which is a bit more of a feature. I'm sure there's a few carp in there. Maybe not now but they might be. Maybe in the morning probably they might move in uh, when the sun comes up a little bit. We'll see. Uh, yeah nothing to report at the moment but hopefully I'll get something it's probably gonna be morning that is when this lake comes alive or usually does so hopefully I'll catch something then have anything overnight I woke up this morning and there's frost on my rods and on my buckets so uh, pretty cold I did hear a couple of fish jumping during the night uh, nothing crazy really I think a bream or roach or something like that jumped where I where I am and uh, I definitely heard a carp jump on the other side of the lake but uh, apart from that I think really I wasn't really expecting huge amounts overnight this swim is more of a, like a, a day bite really. That's more likely to happen in this swim. Uh, and also the swim next door as well is pretty similar. Um, they're sort of known to do day bites. Uh, quick day sessions or quick overnight sessions where you can get a bite within the sort of hours of light. So um, I've decided actually that I'm gonna do another night in here. I wanna do a full day session in this swim just in case it is gonna happen during the day. It more than likely to happen during the day so that's that's what I was thinking, maybe I'd give it a day, uh, i would give it another night and then if I don't catch anything by tomorrow I think I will move on to the, probably the easiest lake on this complex really, um, it's closer to the car park as well which would be easier for me to leave but um, I've got more of a chance of catching a carp and I think it's, it's probably going to be the best bet for the last night just to try and get something but we'll see what happens really, it could happen on here, who knows but there is some big carp in here, it'd be nice to catch a decent carp, but um, if I can't catch one then last night I'll go on the easier water and try and see if I can catch at least one carp for this session. Yeah, so uh, that's my plan so far and I think um, I'm just going to sit back and uh, finish my cup of tea. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Definitely need that this morning, it's really cold. Yeah, and hopefully... Um, Catch a cop. Let's see.
I've had nothing this morning. I've decided to bring both the rods in, check on the hook baits. Did smell a bit silty, so I've just put new fresh ones on there, recast them. I'm just going to wait it out for a bit. I'm probably going to wait until about 12 o'clock and then I might put in an extra spawn or two over each rod just to refresh some bait out there. And also there is like hemp and sweet corn in there which the roach in here or the bream or the tench could easily eat it. So just put a little bit extra fresh bait and as well as just adding a bit of bait to the area. Um, and that's what I'm going to do really for today. I'm going to wait it out for the day session in here. It could do a bite during the day. It is a little bit shallow. Um, they do come in here to sun themselves, so we'll see for for today. I'll probably stick it out for the rest of the day, and I probably will do the night in here, and then tomorrow morning I'll probably move to an easier venue on here, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, catch a last carp, or I might get one between now and uh, tomorrow morning. Let's see. <laughs> Well, I've had nothing today. I thought I would get a bite today, to be honest. I did think it was possible during the day because it was sunny and it was a lot warmer. It was really cold last night as so I wasn't expecting to get anything early morning. I thought as it was getting a bit warmer, I might get a chance to get a carp. Nothing's happened. I just don't think they're that on the feed at the moment and uh, there might be a small opportunity at some point if it's possible. But it's going to be cold tonight as well, so uh, the chances I'm going to get on the feed is very minimal really, I don't think they're going to be on the feed. The only thing that happened today was I walked to the front of the swim and I managed to spook a carp. I didn't even know it was there. Uh, it was sitting under a tree to the left of me and it just spooked. I didn't even get to see what it was at all. Um, but it does sort of say that there is carp in this area and there's carp everywhere to be honest. I, I think it's just not feeding. It definitely is fishy and I definitely think there's other species. Um, I think it could be a tench and bream. I have seen some other little movements down the margins and I think they could be a tench or bream. But that was definitely a carp that spooked. Um, so that means that there was definitely carp here and they're definitely moving around but very slowly. Yeah, so I don't think they're feeding that much. Uh, a few people have said that um, even the lake on here that's easier haven't had anything as well. So it's not just this lake. Um, the other lakes on the complex are not doing very well. Uh, I think pretty much nothing's been caught since I've been here. So uh, it's difficult. <sighs> and tomorrow I might move on to the easier lake. I do know it quite well, so I could produce a carp, but it's not easy at the moment. It looks like it's gonna be another cold night, which is gonna pop them off again, and uh, so far, nothing's been caught. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not the greatest um, thing to go into the night with, really, but considering how cold it's gonna be tonight and uh, how less fish have been caught, but there could be a chance, you never know. Hopefully I'll catch something by the morning, let's see. Well, it was pretty cold last night, nothing's happened. I uh, didn't even hear any fish jump or anything really last night, it was pretty silent. Uh, the only thing that was caught on the lake that I know of was my brother was fishing the next swim to me and uh, he had one about 16 pound last night. So uh, fish are coming out, but the carp are really slow at the moment, they're not really feeding that much. So um, yeah, it's not really happening for me so far. Uh, I'm sort of figuring out what I'm going to do for the day. 
I think I'm going to move to the easier leg, but uh, the only thing is, it is a bit busy at the moment. It was literally packed out last night. I'm going to look around and see if anyone leaves, and uh, if there's an opportunity to move, then I will move. Um, but for now, I'm just sort of going to stay here for a couple of hours and then just keep having a look around and see if anyone leaves. Um, it may take until midday until I get a chance to move, um, but we'll see. Got a couple of hours on here and see if I can get a bite. If not, I'm going to move and then uh, hopefully get another sort of 24 hours on another lake and uh, a bit more easy as well. It's got a few more carp in it than this one and might get a chance to get in the carp. Let's see. Well I moved in the end but uh, the lake that I tried to move to was packed out so I had to wait all day for someone to finally come out of a swim so I can get in there. I finally have got in the swim. Well I've just put the rods um, both in the margin, one to the right and one to the left. Uh, put a scoop or two on each one. Uh, same rig, same baits really. Uh, just a different lake. I've seen a few under the trees, I've also seen a few on the surface but they look like they're not really feeding anything, they're just sort of sunning themselves and warming themselves up. So uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll get down and feed sometime tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. At the moment they're just sunning themselves, not really doing anything. Hopefully I can catch a carp tonight or hopefully I catch a carp tomorrow morning. A couple of hours until it gets dark, I've been waiting all day to get into one of the swims on this lake. After all I've got to do is just wait it out really, I'm going to wait it out overnight and morning. I'll probably leave pretty early because uh, it's been pretty poor fishing and uh, I don't really want to give it a huge amount of time. I was going to give it until maybe like 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. If I hadn't had a bite by then I'm probably going to go. Uh, so I'll see if I get anything. Hopefully I do. move paid off. Moving to an easier lake has definitely got me a bite. It's been difficult. The carp have been really hard to get but uh, moving on to an easier lake definitely got me a bite. 
Yesterday they were swimming around the surface and warming themselves up. And I knew they might feed overnight and they did, which is really good. Oh, right, let's get this fish back and hopefully we'll get another one this morning. Brilliant. Well, there's a couple of things I forgot to mention. One is that carp was caught on the tiger nut wafter. Uh, two is that I call it on the right hand side near the tree. Um, it's like just in front of it really. Also the carp weighed 15 pounds and four ounces. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to mention all that stuff while I had the fish. The carp was really cold and I just wanted to get it back as soon as possible really. I've got a couple of hours until I'm leaving so um, I've still got a chance to get another one. I have seen a few top in, mostly sort of further out really, mostly like halfway to three quarters of the way out. Um, so I have repositioned one of the rods, um, pull it, flicked it out where I saw a fish jump and that is about what I've done this morning really. I came to this lake because I thought there was going to be a chance to get one. I, I caught one so that's what I wanted. It's not exactly a monster but it'll do for me. Well it was a really nice common and it was nice to be out on the bank and uh, be it was nice to catch a carp really because it's been a little while since I've caught one. Hoping the weather will be better for my next session down here. I would like to see a little bit more warmer nights and uh, hopefully um, I can get a bigger carp out of the lake that I started on next time. Well, I didn't manage to get anything else, but that lovely common, that will do for my first session here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.